You think you're just gonna spend a good time and no one's gonna realize it. And yes, maybe nobody realizes what you're doing in your alone time, but the reality is that the only person you're doing damage is to yourself. You don't realize how you're quite literally deteriorating your masculinity. Every time you watch porn, you deteriorate your values. And you think I'm over exaggerating, but I'm not. This is scientific. Every time you watch porn, you're eroding your prefrontal cortex. So in case you don't know, your prefrontal cortex is the region of your brain that's responsible for executive functions such as willpower, morality, and impulse control. As you mature and age, this prefrontal cortex also matures, and that's why as you get older, you get wiser. But what is happening is every time you're watching porn, you're deteriorating your prefrontal cortex that's destroying your willpower, your impulse control, your morality. So instead of maturing, you're becoming more like a child, impulsive and emotional, which takes me to the second problem. You are learning self-gratification. See, I believe that one of the most powerful things that a man can learn is delayed gratification. It's an essential skill where you understand that you are delaying that immediate quick self-indulgence or happiness for a long-term goal that you see that, that you yourself want. It's a very difficult skill, but it's one that men must develop. Well, pornography straight up undermines that. Research has shown that pornography use has a direct correlation with chemical changes in your brain. That visual stimulus of pornography quite literally hijacks your dopamine reward system and then overwhelms that system with unnatural levels of sustained dopamine levels. The result to your brain is that then you become unsensitive or desensitized to natural stimuli that otherwise would have gotten you excited. So now anything in life that you wanted to pursue is no longer good enough than those few seconds of a heightened dopamine because you learned self-gratification versus delayed gratification. Which takes me to number three, your penis literally stops working. This is not a joke, this is not some fairy tale. The more you beat your meat, especially if you're an addict, erectile dysfunction is pretty much your next step. So on top of eroding your brain, you're eroding your Johnson tip. You quite literally are destroying your manhood. The, the same thing that I was talking about, those high levels of sustained dopamine, because now you are so used to a certain level, I'm basically talking to crack addicts at this point, you're used to such a high level of dopamine, it's gonna get to a point that your regular soft porn isn't gonna do it, so you go to hardcore porn. Then that doesn't do it, so you go to threesomes. Then that doesn't do it, so you start getting to weirder and weirder stuff to really get that level of excitement. And what ends up happening is that now, in the real world, the normal stuff, which is what usually gets humans aroused, just doesn't cut it for you. You can literally have a naked woman in front of you and it just won't get up, it won't work anymore. And this takes me to number four, you then get depressed. With the hijacking of that reward, it's very easy that once you come off of those high levels of dopamine, for anxiety and depression to kind of sink in. What ends up happening is that because you also stop performing, you also have lost motivation, you can no longer exhibit self-control, you start also exhibiting depression because you realize that you as a man no longer have power, you are no longer in control, and this has also been studied. They studied a group of men that regularly watches porn and they found that they were usually more stressed and had more anxiety than the group of men that never watched porn. This then leads to isolation and shame. That's why every time after you beat your meat, you usually feel a little bad about yourself. You don't feel good about yourself, especially if you're not in a relationship or you don't have a girlfriend. What ends up happening is that you start isolating. You start thinking, man, what's the point, right? Why the point of friendships? What's the point of actually going out to talk to a girl? Because you can now self-gratify. And ultimately, the worst thing that happens to you as a man, you have an inability to pursue anything, right? You have now been hijacked. Remember, you've destroyed your willpower. You've destroyed your self-control. You've then destroyed your reward system that would reward you every time you did something that was good. Now, everyday things that you thought were good, like completing a task or going out for a walk or going to work out, no longer excites you the same as beating your meat. So what ends up happening? Instead of pursuing what you wanted to pursue, you just jack up the times that you masturbate. There's guys that are beating their meat five, 10 times a day because that is literally the only thing that excites them. That's the only thing that they're looking forward to now. The point is that once you go down this dark path, you lose all sorts of ambition. There's nothing in the world that you actually wanna pursue other than that next quick nut. Pornography, it's killing your masculinity.